Hi everyone, Shika here with NARC Dojo where we talk about narcissism, spirituality, and raising your awareness. In today's video, we're going to delve some more in the third dimension and talk about the narcissist relationship with the codependent empath. So we have a really good comment here by Ian T. Pisces. So are codependents or folks conditioned to cohabit with narcissists also in victim abuser consciousness between shame and pride? So yes, when you get entangled with a pathological narcissist, you are going to also be in the third dimension. Any relationship that you have with a narcissist will be a victim abuser type relationship. So when they are the abuser, then you're going to be the victim. And if you think back in the narcissistic relationship, then sometimes they made you out to be the abuser and then they pretended to be the victim. Narcissists can only play three roles. That's going to be victim, abuser, or hero. And all of these roles are really roles for them to get attention to feed their addiction. Because narcissists are people addicts, so that makes them energy vampires. So what this looks like is narcissists are shame-based people and they can't move past their pride, so they're stuck down here in negative emotion. This is the third dimension. This is victim abuser consciousness, this area below this line. So we're looking at less than 200, so 199 or below. The area of courage then puts you in a positive state of vibration because you have access to positive emotions. Narcissists are not able to go above the line of 200. So what they're really doing is running from their shame because they don't want to face their shame because they have pathologically low self-esteem. They don't want to self-reflect. So they're going to run from their shame and then they're going to meet the ceiling and they're going to go back down to shame. And this down here, they're in this shame rage cycle. This shame rage cycle is what you are experiencing as the narcissistic abuse cycle. If you take a look at the narc abuse cycle, for example, you'll see where the first step is idealization or love bombing. Now, love bombing is an emotional abuse tactic used by narcissists to overwhelm their victims so that they can devalue, discard, and then hoover to drag them back into this abuse cycle. Love bombing has nothing to do with love because narcissists do not have love to give. So if you really think about it, why would someone pretend to love someone to get them into a relationship? Why would they need to manipulate people to get into relationships? When you really take a look into uh, victim abuser consciousness, which is also the lower ego, it is also the spiritual dimension one, two, and three, right? So ego development one, two, and three coincides with what we're looking at here. At ego level one or the spiritual level, uh, the first dimension, you'll see where what they have access to is control, greed, and manipulation, Control, greed, and manipulation is shame-based thinking. And by shame here, we mean low self-esteem, pathologically low self-esteem. Self-esteem so low that they'd probably have to look up to see it. So narcissists do not love themselves, so they're not able to give you love, so they have to love bomb. In order to stay out of narcissistic relationships and you as the empath or the recovering codependent, you have to stay away from the third dimension. And what do you find in the third dimension? You find abuse, you find war, chaos, drama. So what really happens is, and I'll use this red marker to um, represent the narcissist and then this green marker to represent the codependent empath. So again, if you have access to love and these higher emotions, you're going to be up here and then the narcissist is going to be below this line. So narcissists do not have love to give. So what they'll do is they will mimic love to fool you because again, they have to manipulate you to get you into the relationship. And if you fall for this trick, then you fall into the third dimension. So what happened here is that you made yourself equally yoked to a demon, right? And a demon is a human that has lost their human abilities because they're stuck down here in the first dimension. So if we take a look back here at the Hawkins scales, you can see down here, at the lowest level, that is also the spiritual hell. So hell is not so much a place, but a state of consciousness. It is shame-based thinking. It is guilt. It is chaos. 
it is suffering. It is survival mode. It is survival consciousness. It is eat or be eaten, fight or be killed. So if you ended up in a narcissistic relationship, then that means that you did not maintain your frame. You didn't stand your ground. You actually lowered your standard and went below the third dimension into the area where narcissists and psychopaths, sociopaths, the cluster Bs, the antisocials rely, reside. When you are able to maintain your frame, again, maintain that level of vibration, you would have seen that narcissists are not able to move past their pride. So they can't jump over this line. Right here is a spiritual ceiling. You should never drop your standards to get into a relationship with someone. And that is exactly what's going to happen. You can traverse these different dimensions, but the narcissist is really stuck down here in low level vibration. They're stuck in the same strange shame-based cycle because they won't reflect. They won't self-reflect, instead they project. They also believe that they are perfect and perfect people make no mistakes. And if you're perfect, then you're not going to ascend. There's nothing for you to do. There's no evolution. And because there is no evolution for the narcissist, then they will devolve. They will regress because they choose whether consciously or subconsciously not to progress and listen to their higher state of awareness. As an empath, when you choose to go no contact, you have the courage to walk away and leave the narcissist. You are leaving the third dimension. Narcissism, narcissistic abuse is spiritual warfare. So on the spiritual side, on the energetic side, you're really breaking your way out of hell, fighting your way away from those demons because narcissists are in miserable. They're miserable, right? They're in misery and misery loves company. They have to drag you down to their level. However, when you can maintain your frame, you will know that you have no business being down here mingling with narcissists and the other entities that reside in the third dimension. If you appreciate the content, please give us a like and subscribe and comment. Let us know what you think.